Hi everyone, I'm your host Lokinder Kumar and today we're going to discuss an important organ which is liver. As you can see on uh, your computer screen that I have designed the structure of the liver already. We, we are going to design individual components and discuss the function of each structure. To save time, I have already uh, designed some of the uh, components of this particular structure and uh, I'm sure that is going to help you uh, to understand the this particular organ better. As you can see here, we have uh, this main main organ and then you have these uh, blood vessels behind and I have uh, this initial part of the lever that I'm going to remove. As you can see, if I can uh, remove it and it looks like I'm doing the cross section of the lever and then now you can see all these structures. I hope that this video is going to help you to understand these individual parts of the lever and we're going to discuss their functions and as you can see right now it's overwhelming right there are so many different uh, text written on this and you can see the complex system of the blood vessels so i have a better idea and i'm going to design each uh, of these components and explain each part one by one and also discuss the function so that you can understand the function and structure and function of the lever better. So for that, let's move on to our next slide, where as you can see, I have the uh, individual names written, and then I have these uh, parts. So I'm going to increase the size of this particular main lever part, right? and let's place it in the center. Before I start designing the process, let's discuss the functions of liver. Liver helps in detoxification process. It converts ammonia to urea. It helps in protein synthesis. It also stores glucose as glycogen. And the liver, one of the important functions of the liver is to make bile. Bile is made by hepatocytes and bile is helpful in breaking down the fat so that it can it can get absorbed in the small intestine right uh, all right so i hope now you know one of the functions now let's design uh, the blood vessels before that let me label uh, the the this particular portion Right now, I'm just calling it as a lever, although lever includes all the different parts that I'm going to add up, including the blood vessel, obviously. And then you have left lobe and the right lobe. Okay, and left and the right lobe is basically formed by uh, when you have a ligament here, which is falciform ligament right here. It it basically divides the liver into two different lobes. Okay, let's put the arrow. So this is your left lobe and this one is your right lobe. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to bring the first system of the blood vessels, which is in this case, the major blood vessel you're seeing this one is inferior vena cava okay so let me put it like this and label it so this is our inferior vena cava here the main this the major blood vessel and then you have sub vessels that are emerging from this main inferior vena cava. What are these? These are hepatic veins. So I have label for those. Let me put in line so that you can understand what are the hepatic veins. So you have these uh, 
these vessels, they are the hepatic veins. Before I move ahead, I want to tell you about inferior vena cava. Inferior vena cava is a large blood vessel and its role is in transporting deoxygenated blood from the lower extremities. So you have different uh, organs in the in your body, especially in the abdominal region, and its role is to take the blood from that region and then transfer that blood to the right atrium. So basically, collect blood from those important regions and then transfer the blood to the right atrium of the heart. Okay. Now, hepatic veins. We have already discuss that hepatic veins they basically are going to collect the deoxygenated blood from liver and then that blood is going to transfer to the heart right atrium of the heart okay now let's move on to the next blood vessel which is in this case abdominal aorta so this one is your abdominal aorta and I'm going to label this first here. Now what is the role of abdominal aorta? The role of the abdominal aorta is basically it's a main blood vessel in the abdominal cavity and its role is to transfer the oxygenated blood because for a proper functioning of the cells you need oxygen so you need to have that oxygenated blood right so its role is to provide the oxygenated blood all right so let me put this label close to that structure okay now Additional system you have is hepatic, hepatic portal system where you have uh, the blood vessels and that the, it's a venous system basically and its role is to return the blood from the digestive tract to the liver, okay, where liver is going to detoxify or process the liver and then that particular blood is going to uh, transfer to the heart. All right, so that's your hepatic portal system. And I will design uh, the hepatic portal vein. But before that, I'm going to show you the gallbladder. Here is the gallbladder. Uh, I guess I need uh, to increase the size of this gallbladder a little. And uh, yeah, before discussing further, I want to tell you that this is just a schematic representation of the structure, right? As you can see here, this blood vessel is going outside the liver, which is in reality is not going to be the case. So uh, it's, it's just a schematic. And I want you to understand that I'm designing all these so that you can understand the structure. And then you can read books, then you can uh, basically uh, read research articles and uh, then get the accurate information on the structure and then you can also you know dig deep into the system of uh, for example you want to know how the gallbladder and its ducts are going to distribute in the liver but at least this video is going to tell you that this is how the you know rough arrangement of all those uh, important systems there in the liver and this is how uh, this is arranged. Okay, so you have gallbladder and let me label it first so that we don't forget it. So this pouch is the gallbladder, this one here. And now gallbladder is basically a small pouch and it is sitting right under, under the liver, okay? Its role is to basically produce the bile, not produce, store the bile. Bile is produced by liver and gallbladder stores that particular bile and it's uh, the role of bile is to emulsify the fat so that it can get absorbed into the intestine. So you have different ducts here. Now what is hepatic duct? Hepatic duct is basically going to start from the liver and this one. 
okay and move to the call letter and then you have cystic duct which is emerging from the pouch here this one is the cystic duct here and then you have common bile duct which is the duct that is transferring the bile to the intestine here i hope it's it's clear you have three ducts hepatic cystic and common bile duct now next is the hepatic portal vein so this green structure here is the system of your hepatic portal vein here so let me maybe put it right here all right so this this green structure is the hepatic portal vein and we have already discussed what is the role of hepatic portal system right okay this is your hepatic portal vein and then another one is the hepatic artery okay hepatic artery is basically is emerging from the abdominal aorta here so let me also label it okay i think i need to move the hepatic duct a little right to the right side so that i can label uh, our hepatic artery okay so this one here is your hepatic artery all right now you have i think most of those uh, parts already labeled in this structure and if i may center this structure it will look better okay so it looks like that we have designed our liver we have discussed the important components of the liver including what are the different uh, vessels blood vessels we have discussed inferior vena cava abdominal aorta as well as then gallbladder function of the gallbladder and then there are different ducts that we have already discussed and also the hepatic portal system so i hope uh, now you have a good idea of the structure as well as the function of the liver and uh, in my future video i'm going to bring the internal structure of the liver because as i've already discussed that liver has two main lobes left lobe and right lobe then they are separated uh, basically by uh, these lobes are separated by falciform ligament and made up of number of segments and then those segments are made up of lobules small lobes and we're going to understand the structure structural arrangement of the lobules and we are also going to discuss the function what is happening inside the liver maybe in in our future video if you if you like these kind of videos we will also discuss the biochemistry of the liver and that is going to be really important lecture i hope that now you understand the function i have already discussed that liver helps in detoxification it helps in conversion of ammonia to urea it helps in protein synthesis it helps in uh, Uh, storage of uh, glucose as glycogen and it makes bile right and bile is going to help in breaking down the fat so that it can get absorbed in the small intestine it also stores the fat soluble vitamins which are a d e k Okay so I hope now you understand the structure and function and I will meet you in my next video where we are going to discuss important structures and we are also going to discuss their functions all right If you like the video then please hit the like button and do subscribe to the channel thank you